traveling with your base? Welcome to Hero Base Guys, the place where we talk about base, base gear, and music related topics. Happy New Year everybody! It's been a while. Due to all the uncertainties and a lot of things going on in Puerto Rico, uh, me and my wife decided to relocate in the States, so now I'm living in Florida. So for that reason, if you want to know whatever happened to Puerto Rico during Hurricane Maria, I have a video up there. That's why some uploads didn't went the way they were supposed to go. And uh, now with all this relocation stuff, it's going to be hard for me to upload a few videos. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my, my travel experience with my baby base. My boy, Rocco. Oh, Rocco is close. I'm going to talk to you guys about my traveling experience with Rocco. Yeah. Uh, these days it's really hard to travel with a bass guitar. Um, you should have the proper gig bag or whatever the case might be to travel with a uh, case to travel with it. Not a gig bag. No. I recommend you please don't travel with your bass in a gig bag. Just don't. Do yourself a favor. Get a hard case and travel with it. I'll explain to you in a minute. Now, um, coming from Puerto Rico, one of my major concerns was how was gonna my, my bass Rocky, how was it gonna get to the states and up in good shape. That was mainly it. I heard so many bad stories of broken necks, um, electronics out of the place. You know, bass is really damaged. And uh, uh, a lot of my friends were telling me, just bro, just stick it in a hard case. Don't worry about it. Should be good in a hard case. The biggest advice I got from a great friend of mine, named Osvaldo, sub brother. Um, he told me to to um, detune the bass and leave all the, the strings being wobbly and stuff like that. So you relieve the tension from the neck um, according with all the pressure you're going into the flight and all that sort of thing. That will be my number one advice for you today. Whenever traveling with your string instruments, please don't have a tune. Try to take as much tension you can take away from the neck. So that way it won't hurt your, your instrument, okay? Man. Coming from Puerto Rico to Fort Lauderdale, which was one of my, uh, I was going to spend a day with my, my some family members down there. It was, yeah, nice flight. And uh, JetBlue took good care of my instrument. Um, uh, right at the gate, somebody took my bass. They took incredible care of it. When I got here to JetBlue, I just went to the terminal, got my puppy back, and it was all good. All good. Now... Coming from the Miami airport all the way to the Tampa airport, it was really, really hard. A certain company, aerial company, if you will, uh, gave me a really hard time. My base was in a hard case, uh, Ernie Ball hard case, the base, the, the one that this base came in with. So while I did all that, the problem became that um, they wouldn't take my instrument because it was with the case, it was too large to fit into the band and start spacing where you put all your, your carry-ons and sort. They became a really pain in the behind. Long story short, when I got to Tampa, to the airport in Tampa, and uh, I, I was really mad because my base was, they just took it, they opened the base, and let's just pretend this was the case it was in. They flipped the base, right, like so. Take this thing off. They took the case, they opened it, they put the base right in it, facing downward, okay? And they closed it, okay? And that became so painful, because when I opened it, the neck was a little bit out of shape. And uh, for those people who know me really well, this base means more than what a normal instrument would mean for a lot of people. And uh, it's not just a tool, it's been... This bass has been with me for through so many things in life. Long story short, when I saw my bass in that shape, um, I was, uh, yeah, I was really mad. Once we got home, I checked the bass. Trust rod adjustment I needed, it was extremely minimal. It, was, it wasn't that bad of a case, okay? Um, I'm happy my bass made it through. And uh, I just want to thank real quickly my good buddy John from Guitar Center in Tampa. He took extremely good care of my bass, and he helped me fix this joint up. So, John, thank you, my brother. I just went to Guitar Center and got this gig bag slash case, which is incredible, by the way. Um, it's a Wolf Pack 
and it does wonders. Um, it has a lot of spacing in it. Really cool. It's like a hard case, but at the same time, it has this kickback feel and uh, has straps where I can just put it on and just keep walking. And uh, it protects the base incredibly. So, yeah, my traveling experience with my, with my base was about a 50 50 good. It was, it was really hard to travel with my base because um, it, it's, it's such a personal thing that you don't want to just have anybody hand, uh, work, deal with it, you know? The flight from Miami all the way to Tampa, I was crazy and I was like anxious and I wanted to get my hands on my base and just just check it out and see how how well it was. And uh, you know, hey, that that's that's just what it is. That's how it worked. We made it through, so I'm happy about that. My base good. Um, it got some new, it got some new strings. It got some new strings, so I'm happy about that too. And I uh, oh, love the sound of new strings, baby. I love the feel of no strings in my bass, and I love um, when everything is intonated extremely well, all those sort of things. So, uh, yeah, Hero Bass is, is going to have a, like a brand new start. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's been it. Um, I've been relocated to Florida for the past month, and I'm uh, going through a lot of the changes in life and personal things, and uh, that's why we you haven't seen a consistent upload of videos. Um, the last video I, I uploaded was... Uh, a few days before Christmas. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble about my experience with fly with my, my buddy Rocky. This is my base Rocky, just in case you didn't know. Guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all applicable links down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.